Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I thought I would share with you the results so far from the Binance Grid bot that I deployed a couple days ago with the objective of only opening long positions. And the good news is it's working. It did only open long positions and you can see the grid setup is all long positions. There are no red cell or short grids on the chart. And I deployed the bot right back in this area here and almost immediately it hit the first buy grid and opened a long position. And then the price started to move up and since there were no sell grids, I would actually have to manually close that long position. However, the price did eventually roll over. I picked up a couple more long positions. It sold them as it moved back up because it will create more sell positions as you go deeper into the grid it is just when the first grid line is hit it doesn't create a sell order for that particular line and since the price has now moved back up out of the grid zone i still have that one open position you can see down here at the bottom of the screen in a long position and obviously it's got decent profit since the price has moved quite a distance away from the original buy price of the grid line which is represented by this yellow line now the theory is working with a long only grid however the price action is well out of the kill zone and i want this bot to have a lot more action so i'm going to close the bot down reconfigure my upper and lower levels with the objective of getting this bot some more action so so let's get this bot shut down and redeployed now the grid bot is only available once you log into your Binance account under the derivative tabs across the top here. You need to go to your USD MSM futures and click on that particular tab. And that will bring you over to the USDM futures terminal where you can actually trade the perpetual contracts on BTC, ETH, and a few other coins. And over on the right hand side of the dashboard you'll see grid trading in yellow letters i need to click on that in order to get into the grid setup and from this dashboard i can click on active grid and that will show me all my active bots and this is the long only bot i deployed and i need to go ahead and get this bot terminated because i want to redeploy it closer to the price action so i click on terminate and I'll get a message that confirm grid termination when the grid strategy is stopped. Canceling unfilled orders or closing all positions of the grid is dependent on enabling either cancel all orders on stop or close all positions on stop. So I click confirm. And so now my bot is closed and I can jump back over to the main dashboard and see all those orders have been wiped out. However, I do need to close this position out because I did not have that originally selected upon termination. And so I'm basically just going to close all positions via a market order. And so I captured the profit because again, the buy price was down in this zone. Obviously I sold up in this area. Now I'm starting with a clean battlefield and I need to configure a new grid bot. So I start with the BTC USD perpetual contracts I did isolated 9x I'm not going to change any of these settings if you missed the original setup video go back in the playlist and you can find that video all right for my lower price I think I had that around 30,000 but since I'm bumping everything up I will bump this up to 35,000 my upper price level I have set at 58.5, which right now is just below the current last price. And the idea behind that is to get below that so that the entire grid will be buy orders and no sell orders. If I go above this price, then there will be sell orders on the grid. And I may have to tweak this price before I actually deploy it, depending on what this price action on the live mode does. Now, geometric is the mode I select. And then the number of grids, I think we go with something like, we'll try 70. And then so the 70 grids will give me a profit per grid, including fees of approximately 0.7%. And then the initial margin, that's the amount of my funds that I'm going to put towards this bot, 
needs to be a minimum of $364. And so I will give the bot 365 USDT in ammo. And then so the total investment ends up being almost 3300 USDT. Now the advanced settings are, are optional, but I do want to, the trigger price to be set similar to my upper price should in theory ensure that we have nothing but limit buy orders so the bot will execute only long positions so i'm going to put that at the 58.5 just to match that for now and like i said i'm watching this price to make sure that i will be below this price action now my stop trigger from the bottom i'll set at 29,000. i'm going to give this bot plenty of room to move my top price I said at 90,000 those are the same I had on the previous spot and then I had cancel all orders on stop and that will just wipe out all the buy orders and honestly they'll either be pointless if we hit the top level because I'll have to close the bot out for a pretty good profit or on the bottom level all the orders would have been wiped out and bought up anyway and then close all positions on stop. I'm not going to enable this because if I go all the way down through all those orders, I'm fine with actually holding Bitcoin because I acquired it at a lower price. All right, so now our price is getting real close to our current upper level. So I'm gonna deploy this bot before we get too many changes here. So I click create and you can see that the mode is geometric my leverage is 9x price range of 35,000 to 58.5 the grid numbers there'll be 70 grids in total and those grids are limit by orders and therefore the bot will only be opening long positions assuming i get this deployed before the price drops below the 58.5 Quantity per order will be 0.001 BTC. Profit per grid will be 0.70%. My initial margin, the amount of my funds that are at risk is $365. Total investment will be 3,285 USDT. And then the trigger price to start the bot is 58.5, which we're still okay on. And the stop bottom and loss are 29,000 and 90,000. So I hit confirm and we're going to get in right at almost the 58.5. The grid has been created successfully and more than likely we might have just gotten a, our first orders filled. So let's jump back over to the chart. And sure enough, we're in a position already because the price dipped right after we deployed the bot and all we have are green buy limit orders open so therefore there will be no shorting on this bot everything will be long so if it dips down into this grid it will be buying and creating sell orders to sell off my long positions and if i scroll down you can see i've already picked up my first position almost instantly when i deployed the bot and so I have one long position and I don't normally root for a pullback on BTC, but I kind of would like to see some action out of this bot. So that yellow line will now represent the upper level of my grid bot. Everything else below is limit buy orders, which would be opening long positions. And so I think that pretty much wraps it up. I wanted to shut down the bot that was no longer seeing any action because the price had moved so far above the upper level and i wanted to redeploy the bot with an opportunity to actually get involved in some action and immediately we saw some action and picked up our first position and we'll go from there so i will do an update video on how this bot is performing so now is a good time to shoot that subscribe button if you like the video do me a favor and spike a like if you have any questions or comments leave those in the comment section down below and in closing remember Never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.